Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. Let's do another personal fragrance review. But before we get into it, in full disclosure, as always, when things are sent to me here on my channel, I am super upfront about that. Um, I did receive an email from this company asking me if I was interested in reviewing this particular perfume and if I liked it, um, if I would be willing to share it here on my channel. So spoiler, I do actually really like this fragrance, but I want to let you guys know that I did not purchase this particular one. It was sent to me as a PR item. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about a fragrance by Hailey Kiyoko, and the name of the fragrance is Hue. Um, I have to admit, I actually had no idea who Hailey Kiyoko was. Um, I am not someone who follows celebrity culture at all. Like, I don't really go to the movies. I don't watch reality TV. Um, like, I feel like my musical tastes are very, like, set in their ways. Like I'm still kind of stuck in the nineties, you know, I'm in my forties. So that makes sense for me. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm not someone who really follows celebrities. So I didn't even know who Hailey Kiyoko was. So after they reached out to me and I was like, sure, I love perfume. This, this one actually sounds really beautiful. Absolutely. Send it my way. I'll let you know how I feel about it. Um, so I had to look her up. It turns out she is an actress. She's a singer. She's a dancer. Um, she's been in movies like Scooby-Doo, Insidious, and what's the other one? Um, oh, Gem. Gem and the Holograms. <laughs> that one, I was like, oh my gosh, I love Gem and the Holograms in the 80s. So um, anyway, she's absolutely gorgeous. Just a, a very beautiful, beautiful young woman. But uh, honestly, I didn't know anything about her. So um, if you're a Hailey Kiyoko fan, she, she has a perfume <laughs> if you're interested. Uh, anyway, for me, I am just going to be talking about the fragrance itself because I feel like I, I'm a little bit more knowledgeable in that than I am in her life. So definitely feel free to go read up a little bit more about her. Um, I will put a link to where you can purchase this fragrance in the description box below. They also uh, are giving me a discount code to pass along to you guys. This isn't a, an affiliate discount code or anything like that, so um, I will leave that down in the description box for you if you are interested in picking this up. This will save you 20%. Um, and yeah, enjoy. Happy shopping if you choose to partake. But let's go ahead and read up a little bit about this fragrance. I'm going to tell you guys sort of the predominant notes that I pick up, the vibe that I get from this perfume, what I think this perfume is appropriate for, um, the projection, the lasting power, all of that fun stuff, and then we'll wrap it up. So. Let me uh, get out my uh, old lady iPad here and um, let's let's read about it. Okay, so uh, an audacious scent designed as an expression of liberation, freedom, and self-empowerment. This irresistible fruity floral fragrance embodies Haley's very essence from start to finish. Bold, energetic, and a little disruptive, sparkling top notes of blood orange, watermelon, and freesia unfold into an expressive feminine heart of blooming peony petals, lychee, or lychee, depending on how you say it, rose and pink magnolia. Warm and cocooning, the background develops into a simple aphrodisiac as milky undertones of creamy cacao blank merge with a soft, sensual trail of skin musk. All right, so what are the predominant notes that I really pick up in this fragrance? I'm just gonna give myself a, a fresh spritz here so that you can also see the type of spray that you get out of this perfume bottle. By the way, this size is, what is this? This is 2.2 ounces and it retails for $65. So um, you can save 20% off of that $65 if you're gonna be picking this fragrance up with the discount code that they gave in the description box down below. All right, so really nice light spritz that comes out. Um, I hate perfumes that come out in more of like a like spurt, you know, like where it's just like kind of like splats onto your skin. I feel like this has a nice mist, a really nice even distribution. So, all right, let's talk about this. This is such a fun fragrance, you guys. 
So definitely the main notes for me, um, when you first apply it, you know, just as it dries down, it really does take you through a lot of the notes that are mentioned. For me, that citrus from the blood orange, I actually notice a little bit more than the watermelon, but this has a really nice sweetness to it. So I'm thinking the watermelon is probably bringing a little bit of sweetness to that blood orange. Um, not that citrus isn't sweet kind of in its own right, but I feel like to me, citrus is a little bit more fresh. This is like fresh and sweet at the same time. I do smell the freesia in here for sure. I am a florist, so I'm very familiar with freesia. I've used it in a lot of bridal bouquets and um, it is very, very noticeable in here. You wanna make sure that you're a fan of freesia if you are going to invest in this one for sure. As, as it dries down, it definitely, I can smell that peony and that rose. I don't actually pick up much magnolia to my nose. Let me, yeah, I, I don't really pick up the magnolia. Like I keep, every time that I wear it, I'm like, oh, maybe that'll come out like later on in the day. I really don't ever pick up the magnolia myself. But absolutely, I smell the peony, I smell that rose. And maybe even like a touch of that lychee. Um, again, it really does, um, it's a, it's a really nice balance of florals and fruits. Like it's a very sweet floral scent for sure with a lot of fruity touches throughout. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to get to talking about the vibe of this one because I think like it's just, it's such a happy scent, you guys. Um, the one thing that really kind of is interesting to me is I really, when it dries down on me, I don't ever really pick up any sort of creaminess. Um, that cacao blanc i don't i feel like it never really gets there for me even as i wear it throughout the day but i do get a i do get that skin musk vibe for sure it's a really nice white clean musk type note it's not heavy it's not oppressive at all and it plays really nicely with those fruits and those floral notes for sure this, you guys, this is such a happy scent. This to me is the type of fragrance that I think is super appropriate for like a special occasion where something really happy is happening. Either you're getting married or you're going to a wedding. I think this is a perfect wedding fragrance. Um, this would be a wonderful thing to wear to like a baby shower or maybe if you're, you know, like visiting wine country with the honey and you want like a beautiful fun fragrance to wear something that you know you kind of can remember the trip by like this is the kind of fragrance that i would suggest for something like that just like a happy time in your life where you're doing a celebration because it's just such a bright fun vibrant scent and to me when i think like bright fun vibrant scents i think happy times I think, you know, like celebrating something fun. And this to me just screams vibrant happiness. And so this is absolutely, I think, going to be a fantastic fragrance to be able to enjoy throughout the spring and summer months. Um, I'm fairly seasonal when it comes to my personal fragrance, but sometimes I will make exceptions to that. This one here though, I think is one that is very specifically for me, a spring and summer type scent for sure. But it's absolutely lovely. And if you love really fun, girly, feminine scents and you're looking for something new for the spring or a special occasion, maybe you're getting married later on this year, this would be the type of fragrance that I would definitely steer you towards. Now, in terms of the lasting power and the projection i would say this is the type of fragrance that people are definitely going to notice on you but i do notice the wear is pretty average so after i would say about like four or five hours i notice that the fragrance is i'm either i'm mostly nose blind to it at that point or it just kind of has mostly worn off so for me, this is one that I do have to reapply at least once throughout the day. But um, I also tend to be someone who likes their fragrance to be somewhat stronger and a little bit more noticeable than I think maybe some other people do. 
Um, I will say, I think it's very like on par with a lot of the other fragrances that I have in my collection. So the Juliet has a gun fragrances that I'm currently like in the middle of reviewing. Um, a lot of my higher end fragrances from like Nest, from you know some of these. Um, gosh, there's so many. A lot of my dossier fragrances, like the the wear is just pretty average, but you know, I feel like it's on par with, like I said, a lot of my other fragrances in my collection. It's just really happy. It is something that puts a smile on my face and it's a fragrance that unless the company would have reached out to me, that I would have probably never even heard about. So I'm definitely glad that they reached out. I'm glad that I decided to look at that email because sometimes I don't go through my email. So anyway, um, a big thanks to them for sending this out for sure. I'm going to give this one two thumbs up. It is one that I, at this point, would actually consider repurchasing. Um, by the way, this is also Stella approved. Stella is my 11 year old daughter. She smelled this as well and was like, that smells really good. So it's definitely a fun fragrance, very youthful, very vibrant. And if you're looking for something like that, definitely check it out. So again, thanks to them for sending it out. I really do appreciate it. Check out the description box down below if you are interested in picking this fragrance up. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I appreciate you guys being here. There is much more fragrance content to come. I actually have a number of videos already recorded. I just haven't had the uh, time and other things <laughs> to get them up on YouTube yet. So they are coming, I promise. And um, I appreciate you guys being here. Take care. Toodaloo.